Do you have a question for someone who's transitioned? Do you have a medical issue? What about your pet's health or behavior? Perhaps you have a loved one who's close to death and you'd like to know what's happening. Are you on the path to fulfill your life's purpose? No matter where you are in the world, take a journey to the other side and ask Judy Ryan. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Ask Julie Ryan Show. It's where we combine spirituality and practicality to help you live a life full of purpose and joy. We got a whole bunch of callers on hold already. We're live streaming this on YouTube, so we'll take questions from YouTube throughout the show as well. But if you want to have a conversation with me, you got to call in on Zoom. And the easiest way to do that is go to AskJulieRyanShow.com askjulieryanshow.com. If you want to join us on the YouTube live stream, just go to Ask Julie Ryan, at Ask Julie Ryan, I guess is what it is. This is the first Thursday of the month. And for those of you that have been with me for a while, you know, I always give away a free session on the first Thursday of the month valued at 250 bucks. So we will do that. You want to stay tuned to the show because I'll be announcing that a little bit later. And uh, that's always fun to do, to see who wins and see what they have to say in their comment that they leave. If you want to enter the drawing and win a free session with me, just leave a comment wherever you watch. If it's on YouTube or on any of the podcast networks, just leave a comment about the show and you will be entered into the drawing. One other thing, we're getting ready in May, May 18th and 19th to do my angelic attendant training coming up. And it's going to be, this one in May is going to be live online via Zoom. So go to AskJulieRyan.com forward slash AAT for angelic attendant training. If you're interested, it's got to be a blast. You'll be part of the community. It will be life enhancing in every area of your life. So if you want to join us and ask a question, askjulieryanshow.com. If you want to do the live stream, we're at Ask Julie Ryan on YouTube. So let's see who our first question's from. Hi, Michelle. Hi, how are you? I'm terrific. How are you? I'm good. It's my first time I'm doing anything like this. So it's, uh, oh, it's cool. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, good. Where Thank are you, you located? New Jersey, uh, the Jersey shore. I live down by ocean near ocean city, New Jersey. Wonderful. The beach. I used to, I used to vacation there as a kid from Ohio. We right. used to go over there. <laughs> so it was really That's fun. A truck. <laughs> it was yes, exactly. Well, you got a question for me? I do. Oh, gosh, um, listening to what the topics are to talk about. Uh, I have a 27 year old son that currently lives with me and we struggle communicating. We have been through a lot the past couple years. Um, I lost my husband seven years ago, who was my son's stepfather. They were very close. And my late husband's name is Bill. His presence is always here. Uh, sometimes I wonder if it's like too much. And then tying into the struggles, my son and I have had a lot of mental health struggles over this past year. And our communication is really struggling. Um, so I and where I'm at as the mom, you know, um, what are my blockages? And how much of that is I feel like Bill, um, how much of that is me? How much of that is my son? I don't know, it's a, it's a lot in one question, but these are the things that are on my mind. Okay, does your son live with you, Michelle? He does, yes. Okay, all right, does he have a job? What is he doing, is he in school? He He's uh, 27 and he's been out on disability this whole year. For okay. a year for what what's going on with the mental, disability? Health, mental, mental health disabilities he had a, a, a for lack of a better t term like burnout over a year ago um and, okay. a, and a nervous breakdown basically so he's been oh, struggling geez. and it's it's oh, been geez. hard um okay and i think about yeah and i've had my own struggles you know so um there's heaviness 
you know, and then there's the not communicating. Um, and then there's me wanting to be there for him and tell him that I'm caring and compassionate, but then I'm not always showing up really compassionate because I get frustrated mm -hmm. and my own anxieties mm -hmm. come and play. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I feel Bill all the time, you know, um, he was my uh, soulmate and I've done a lot of work to heal and move past that, but I, I do feel his presence a lot. I, I literally like little whispers that I feel from him, um, which is nice, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping you're finding that comforting that he's there with you. Mm -hmm. in spirit. Oh, I do. I do. I do. 100%. Yeah. Yes. Great. I do. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. So a couple of things. Spirit's given me what I call divine downloads, which is information that gets downloaded into my head. The first thing I'm getting is that what is your son eating? How is his diet? Is he eating a bunch Not of unhealthy food? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the head of psychiatry at Harvard is a doctor named Chris Palmer, P-A-L-M-E-R. Mm -hmm. And he talks about and he's been in that position for 30 years. I mean, he is one of the leading psychiatrists in the world and researchers in mental health throughout the world. And he says that 90% of his patients, even the sickest of the sick who've been on disability for decades, that they really do well on a ketogenic diet. They get them off all their medications and they get them back into society and they get them back to work even those that have been, as I mentioned, on disability for, in some instances, decades. And these are the sickest of the six, like the schizophrenics mm -hmm. and the bipolars and those kinds of people. The depression and anxiety and all of that, this is a yeah. breeze for them. This really gets yeah. them you know, back on their feet. So if you just look up Chris Palmer, MD, you'll see he's all over the internet. He's got books out. He's been on a lot of interviews, all of that. I would research his stuff. The other thing that came in okay. very clearly is you set the tone in the house with your vibration. You know how when your son, what's your son's name? Tyler. Tyler. When Tyler was little, he could have been in a great mood and you were in a crummy mood and then his mood would change right? Because they're always going to match the mom, the wife. We're always the one that sets the mood in the house. So if you can figure mm -hmm. out a way to even fake it as far as how you're feeling, right? You, he's going to match your vibration. It's going to take a little mm -hmm. bit of time, but if you're anxious and in a mood, he's going to match that to you. My son and my husband when Jonathan especially was little, I mean, you know, they could be doing fine and I could get upset about something and they were like deer in the headlights. They didn't know what to do because it felt so bad because I was out of whack. And it didn't happen that often, but boy, it was noticeable. And so same with you. Send him love when he gets frustrated, if he starts being mouthy with you or whatever, just say, honey, I love you and walk out of the room. Don't engage. Okay. Don't engage. Okay. Keep your vibration level high. Okay. If you can't okay. think to do anything else, stand in the superwoman pose. Legs spread apart, okay. hands on your hips. Envision a geyser of energy coming up from the core of the earth up out through the top of your head. That's going to raise your vibrational okay. level instantly. Do that. Say, okay. honey, I love you and smile and walk out of the room. He's not going to know what to do with that. And if you don't engage, he doesn't have anything to engage with. Okay. Okay. So get him, yep. get him on a, on a healthy diet as much as you can. You're probably buying the groceries, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So. Yes. Um, yeah. He does a lot of takeout. So that's okay. uh, well, a challenge. All you can do is suggest it. Send him. Chris Palmer's yeah. videos. You're just the mom. What do you know? Okay. You know, let the head of Harvard yeah. psychiatry talk to him about it, first of all. And secondly, the other thing that you can do is be sure that he gets some sunshine. Is he being a hermit and staying inside? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 
So he needs to get out in the sun. And if he, if you can get him out for a walk or get him to work out or at least go outside, that's going to help a lot too for him to get sunshine. Okay. Okay. I hope all that helps. It does. It does. You know, I'm, I'm just, I'm curious if anything about my late husband, you know, presented on anything. You know what? Him. Let me go to another caller. And if we have time, I'll come back okay. to you because I okay, limit cool. it to one Thank question. You. You're welcome. Oh, okay. Bye. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, Michelle. Let's see who's next. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Julie. Where are you, my girl? I am in sunny California. <laughs> oh, good. What part? Um, I'm in, let's see, you would call it the Bay, but I'm, you know, near San Francisco is the one place everybody knows. I'm about an hour from there in Livermore. So, <laughs> okay. I know where that is. East Bay, right? Yeah. It's East Bay. Right. Yeah. yeah I know where that is. Okay. Terrific. <laughs> well, you got a question for me? I do. I was hoping that you could help me identify this mystery illness that is ailing me since last year. Sure. What's the symptom? Symptom or symptoms? Well, what are the symptoms? It's a, it's a long list, um, but the okay. the main ones that have come up um, and have stayed, it's a lot of fatigue, um, but major weakness in my muscles throughout my arms and legs. Um, I can tell it's got some inflammation relation because I'll get like flare ups, you could call where it makes mm -hmm. me dizzy and it throws off my stomach. It's, you know, it's a lot of, a lot of symptoms, but my skin is also, you know, sensitive and not acting itself. Um, it's a long list. <laughs> okay. Um, anything else that is really predominant other than those things that the, you mentioned? Yeah, the one other major thing is it's affecting my heart rhythm and my pulse. It like I have been put on something to keep it low because it'll spike really high and it beats really hard to where I can hear it, you know, in my ears and it's very mm. unpleasant. Okay. All right. I'm going to get you on my radar, Miss Shelley, and how this works for those of you that are first time callers or joiners, first time listeners, I guess is what I'm trying to say is I'm going to raise my vibrational level to the level of spirit. I turn it on and off at will. I learned how to do this stuff and teach people all over the world. Ask julieryan.com forward slash AAT. If you want to learn how to do all the stuff that I do on a weekend, you can join us. So I'm going to watch a laser beam, Shelly, come from my body here in Birmingham, Alabama. It's going to hook into you in California. And then I'm going to have a hologram of you in my mind's eye. And then I'm going to envision shooting energy from your feet up through the top of your head. And we'll see what shows up. And then we'll go Thank from you. there. Something will be identified and then there'll be some type of energetic healing that will occur. I'm going to describe it in detail. Sometimes sure. my analogies are hilarious, as you know, if you've <laughs> listened to the show. And that's yeah. just because I want you to envision what I'm seeing in my mind's eye. And everybody sure. listening and watching do the same thing. I want you to envision it as well. Because whether you're watching it right now live or whether you're watching it in the future at a later date we're all sending healing energy to shelly together so that's one of the beauties of calling into the show because you not only get me you get glow a global audience of people that are helping facilitate healing for you so Even that's that. what we're going to do <laughs> here we go here we go here comes my laser beam from sweet home alabama Heading out to you in California. So I see it going across the country on a map of the U.S. Okay, got you. Shoot energy from your feet up through the top of your head. You have mold exposure and you have candida overgrowth. Where's the mold? Do you have a water leak in your home? Have you had or your office or your school or? Um, it could be my home. I know that our shower has had mold and it's almost impossible to get rid of in the way that the tile is in the shower. It's this weird, they put it in, you know, we've only lived here for two years, but I think uh -huh. our previous home probably had mold as well, just being its age and yeah, those sorts of things. Yeah. So you know what moss looks like, Shelly, on the side of a tree? Mm -hmm. 
that's what it looks like in your body. And so yeah. what I'm watching is I'm watching that get removed out of your body. And, and then I'm going to go into your GI tract. So I'm in your GI tract now. And again, I'm like a human MRI. So I'm mm -hmm. seeing, you know, what it looks like inside your body. thing is I'm clearing out the mold. I'm clearing out the yeast out of your body. The yeast looks like if we mixed flour and water together to form a roux, like a, mm -hmm. you know, a paste that you're going to make a gravy or a sauce out of. That's what it looks like. And so I'm clearing that out. You have what's known as leaky gut and the symptoms can be just this plethora of symptoms all across the board. And it just really baffles the doctors because they're not trained yeah. in how to treat this stuff. Yeah. Right. So what you want to do, several, several suggestions. Number one, sure. there's a gut biome test fancy word for a poop test, go to Viome, V as in Victor, I-O-M-E.com. Use Julie Ryan at the checkout code. You'll get 60 some percent off. Okay. Wow, Do that. Thank you. It's going to tell okay. you based on your gut ecosystem, here are your superfoods, here are the foods for you to avoid. Here's everything else. Eat this a lot, eat this a little. Number one. Number two, stay away from sugar and anything refined bread yep. chips whatever because bread and chips absorb like sugar just feed okay it, yeah yeast sure. loves sugar so you want to stay away from that number three if you're going to eat fruit peel it because there's tons of yeast on the peel oh good to know okay i don't expect you to peel a blueberry or a grape but certainly an apple, a peach, a pear, a plum. you say that. I pictured myself peeling a grape. That's funny no, you would say that. You don't have to. <laughs> but, by, but, but by, I mean, you can if you want to. Better better off, are you married? Get your husband to say, honey, can you peel me some grapes? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that. Uh, yeah. So buy organic. <laughs> buy organic. Rinse them off. Yeah. You know, do that. Yes. Okay. If you have leftovers, Shelly, freeze and reheat them because there's tons of yeast on food that we leave in the fridge overnight. Oh, okay. Think of yeast and mold as nature's garbage disposal, because that's what they do. They decompose things, food, wood, drywall, whatever. So you want to yeah. freeze and reheat. I am the Ziploc bag queen of the universe. <laughs> so <laughs> everything, everything goes in a Ziploc bag at my house. If it's a leftover, I'll write with a Sharpie on the front, you know, and I'll say broccoli or whatever. <laughs> I mean, I can tell it's broccoli by looking in there, but I'll, but I'll label what's on there. And then I'll put everything in a Ziploc bag and I'll squeeze out the air and lay it flat on a shelf in my freezer. And then when it's frozen, I'll stack the packages upright like files in a file drawer. You will mm, save okay. so much food and you'll save so much room in your freezer if you do that. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. so there's that. And then two, two last things. You want to get a hold of some nice statin. N Y S T A T I N. It's an mm -hmm. antifungal prescription here in America. It's an antifungal, kills yeast on contact. It stays in the GI tract there are no known side effects. It's what they give okay. babies when they have thrush. So you want to get mm. a prescription for that. And then lastly, I would highly recommend that you call Dr. Maria. Go to, go to Dr. Amasanti, A-M-A-S-A-N-T-I.com. Dr. A-M-A-S-A-N ti.com set up an appointment with her she is the goddess of the gut she will get you healthy in no time she's brilliant she's oxford educated she's a an md general practitioner she does functional medicine holistic medic medicine ecological medicine and she's a graduate of my class so she does energy medicine and you will love her everybody Thank i send so to her much. she gets well yeah. So all, if you if you can do all of those, and I know I gave you a lot of links, just watch the playback, you know, watch the recording of this and you can you can get it. And and this is all fixable. It's all healable. Thank you so much. I you really appreciate welcome. it. it You're gives welcome. Me a lot of hope. <laughs> okay. Thanks for calling in. Thank you. Take care.
You too. So everybody that's watching, if you want to have a conversation with me and ask a question, go to AskJulieRyanShow.com and we'll get you in. Otherwise, you can be watching the live stream on YouTube and we're at Ask Julie Ryan, at Ask Julie Ryan. That's a lot of A's in one one sentence there. Stay on with us because I'm going to announce the winner of a free session with me at the end of the show. So it may be you. You may be the lucky winner. Let's see who else we've got as a question. Oh, we've got one from YouTube. Hey, everyone. Rachel here from Texas. Hi, Rachel. Oh, I got to put my glasses on so I can read this one. This is like in microscopic print here. Okay. Rachel says, I have dementia. I have dermatitis. I thought it said I have dementia on my face. No, you don't have dementia on your face, honey. You just have dermatitis on your face. And I've had it for four years. I've had several dermatologists, several biopsies, and they just keep giving me cream. It will not go away for nothing. And it's horrible. Okay. Rachel from Texas. That's rashes are always yeast overgrowth. It's always coming from your gut. What I was just talking about with Shelly is what you want to do. Listen to the recording on that just to get more information. But you need to get on some Nystatin, N-Y-S-T-A-T-I-N. It's a prescription. It comes in tablets that will get rid of the rash. And also what I just told Shelly as far as your diet. And I think it would make sense for you to call Dr. Maria, D-R-A-M-A-S-A-N-T-I.com dramasanti.com and and it will heal it's always coming from the gut when it's a rash that's what the dermatologists miss because they just think it's a skin thing and the skin thing is just the symptom of your gut being out of whack so hopefully that'll help okay we've got another one let's see what this one says eva girl on YouTube says, I would love to learn how to raise my vibration for a start, then turn it on and off. What a trip that would be. Well, yeah, take my class. Angelic Attendant Training. AskJulieRyan.com forward slash AAT. Join us May 18th and 19th. You'll learn how to turn it on and off. You'll learn how to do the buffet of psychicness like I do. Everything that I do, you can learn how to do in a weekend. And it's a blast. We have so much fun. So let's go to another caller. Let's see who's next. Okay, we got Margaret. Hi, Margaret. Hi, I'm in South Kingstown, Rhode Island. Oh, I'm wonderful. How are things up there? Very windy and um, rainy. So <laughs> we're waiting for the spring. Oh, but good. It's beautiful. Good. It's blooming down here in Sweet Home, Alabama. So come visit me. Everything's in bloom. I got off the freeway yesterday. I was I was running an errand, and the whole off ramp and everywhere, as far as I could see, were all Bradford pears in bloom. <laughs> I thought this is this is like driving into fairyland. I mean, it was angelic, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, angelic. Exactly. I was waiting for little fairies to start flitting between the trees or something. So. Well, welcome. You got a question for me? Yes, I also have a uh, intractable problem. Um, it's in my face. You can't actually see it, but um, there's a nerve in my face that's affected, and it's been going on for four months now. Um, there's a quivering, like constant twitching under my eye, and it it sort of goes all the way to the chin, and it doesn't hurt, but it's 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 there. And I had it before, and it went away, and then many years before and now it's suddenly back and nobody can figure out what this is yeah a couple Maybe of things can... all right so what i'm getting divine downloads on it just as we're talking at the beginning and so what i'm getting is you're lacking in magnesium so okay. you're probably taking magnesium but i want you to yes. try beam minerals dot com go to b b as in boy e a m as in mary minerals plural dot com and i want you to get their minerals they come in a liquid form margaret and they i pour a half a cap full in a big glass of water and then i have their electrolyte 
um, formula too. It's liquid, doesn't have any flavor. It just tastes like water. And I pour that in that same big glass. You can drink it like a shot of tequila. You don't have to put it in a glass of water. I just do. And that the absorption is going to be amazing for you. So okay. that's what I'm getting. I started using them about a little less than three months ago. I can't believe the difference in my energy uh -huh. level, which is high to begin with, but ramp it up. So beamminerals.com, put Julie Ryan in the code all together. Don't put a space in there and you'll get 20% off of that. That's my first thing. My second thing is what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to just, we're just going to clean out that nerve. Okay. okay great. So let's do a healing on your nerve. Imagine that the nerve looks like a tube, looks like a piece of aquarium tubing, but it's the mm -hmm. diameter of maybe a piece of angel hair pasta. How's that for mm -hmm. a visual? So imagine inside the tube gets gunk. That's a medical term I made up, gunk, G-U-N-K. And gunk <laughs> can be a combination of dead cells. It can be just debris that gets in the nerve and it impedes the electrical flow. It's like if you have a wire that's shorting and the electricity goes through, there's some kind of something that's blocking the electricity from flowing. This is the same concept. So imagine there's a little tiny corkscrew inside that tube and it's spinning really fast. And what it's doing is it's grinding up any kind of gunk in there. And now what we're doing is we're irrigating it out and we're putting stem cell energy in there, light amber colored gel, sparkles, cause whoa, whoa, we've got to have sparkles. Reminds me of dippity doo hair gel, which was a thing when I was a kid in the sixties and seventies. For those of you listening and watching, if you don't know what Dippity Doo is, look it up. You'll laugh. It's just this hair gel with sparkles in it. So that's got a vortex, Margaret, spinning out in front of it. And what's happening is that's regenerating and healing that nerve that's going down your face that's causing those issues. But the first thing that came in when you started talking to me about this was it's a magnesium deficiency we don't always have good absorption from the yes, vitamins especially. and minerals that we take with our tablets, which is mm -hmm. why these beam minerals I have found to be amazing. And so amazing that I asked my team to get the CEO on the line and I talked to her and I was so impressed with her that I heard her on the show. Her name's Caroline Allen, A-L-A-N. And if you look on my website, AskJulieRyan.com and look at the shows, you'll see my show number. I don't remember what the number is, but it's been in the past couple of months. You will learn so much from her. And right. so I highly recommend that you give that a try too. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. You. Thanks for joining us. All right, if you wanna join us, join the conversation, you got a question to ask me and you want to have a conversation with me, you just go to askjulieryanshow.com. And if you're on YouTube watching us on the live stream, we're at Ask Julie Ryan. Or if you want to join us on the live stream, we're at Ask Julie Ryan. Stay with us because I'm going to announce the winner of the free session here in a little bit. But uh, let's see who our next question asker is. Hi, Julie. Hi. Uh, my name okay. is Katie. I know it appears, Mark. Um, this I'm new to Zoom. I've called you before. I was wondering if you could do a scan on me. Sure, just a second. Yep, it appears as Mark. Yeah, you don't look like a Mark. Yeah, I know. Right, it's Katie, my husband. <laughs> Katie, where are you? Fishers, Indiana. Oh, great. Okay. Who's your state? Okay. Yeah, yes. what's going on? Um, I was just, um, I feel, sorry, that's my dog Rocco. I'm trying oh. to keep him quiet. <laughs> he wants to talk to uh, us. What kind is he? What yes, kind of dog? Uh, Shih Tzu. I'll let him oh. make it. Uh, but, uh, I just was wondering if you could do a scan. Uh, I feel, uh, a fatigue, uh, a lot yeah. and I okay. do take vitamins and supplements. Okay. Anything else other than fatigue? Um, very low iron. I recently okay. had blood work done, extremely low. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's Rocco. Bring him over a little so yes. we can see him. 
<laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, my God. Too cute. All right. And anything else? Um, not that I can think of. Okay. What, what are your doctors saying about the iron? Did they give you medicine or uh, do they want to give you an infusion supplements? Okay. And if that All doesn't right. work, then an infusion. Okay. And how young are you? I'm going to be 45 in June. All right. All right. Let me get you on my radar. Let's see what's going on. Here we go. Comes my laser beam from Sweet Home, Alabama, heading up to Indiana. It's just straight up 65. It's pretty much a straight shot. Interstate 65. Veer off a little to the left once I get up into the Yankee country. Okay, got you shooting. Out. Yeah, you you are in perimenopause, my girl. You kind of look like a wilting plant that needs to be watered. Yeah, yeah. easy fix. Easy fix. Really? Yeah. I feel awful. <laughs> oh, I just shot some energetic estrogen into you. So have you ever heard of bioidentical hormones? No. Okay. Bioidentical hormones are going to rock your world, girl. I've been on them 20 years this year. I am a huge fan. Bioidentical hormones are the hormones that our bodies make when we're young and fertile age. As we age, our hormone levels diminish. And Mother Nature says, ha ha, she's not propagating this species anymore, so we don't really need her. And that's when degenerative things start to set in degenerative, you know, illnesses and things. So we can fool mother nature and make her think we're 35 instead of 65. Like me, I'll be 65 soon. Synthetic hormones have extra molecules added to their formulas so they can be patented. And a lot of those are made from pregnant horse mare urine. And the body, when it takes it says, I don't eat hay for breakfast. What is this stuff? And those are the ones that you hear all the bad stuff about. But the bioidentical hormones keep your brain healthy, your bones healthy, your heart healthy, your skin healthy, just you healthy in general. It's going to help you with your fatigue. That's going to go away. I mean, all of this. So the best way to find a doctor who specializes in this, in the bioidentical hormones, is to call a couple of compounding pharmacies. Do you know what that is? Go to a yep. call a couple of compounding pharmacies in your area, Katie, and just ask okay. them who's prescribing bioidentical hormones through them. Okay. My preference is for you to find a gynecologist doing this because they're experts on girly parts. Number one. Mm. Number two, if you need a vaginal ultrasound, they got the equipment right there in their office. Number three, the consult the blood test, all this stuff's going to be covered under your insurance. So okay. that's my big suggestion there. To learn more, I would go to Dr. Northrup, D-R-N-O-R-T-H-R-U-P.com, Dr. Northrup.com, Christiane Northrup. She is the fairy godmother of women's health. I saw yeah. her on Oprah, God, 30 some years ago in my mm -hmm. late thirties. And I read her book, Women's Bodies, Women's Wisdom. And something just led me and that was before I knew how to do woo woo. So, you oh. know, this wasn't woo woo. Oh, wow. And I read her book. And then when I started going into perimenopause at 45, by the way, I knew what to do. Oh. Yeah. Excellent. Perimenopause lasts for 20 years. And oh. menopause, no, no, there's no reason to go. Ah. Because when you get on the bioidenticals, you're going to breeze through it and you're going to keep your health and you'll be, you'll be doing great. But the menopause is when you haven't had a period for a year. Perimenopause mm. is the thing where you get all the symptoms. One other mm. point that I think is worth mentioning, Katie, there was a study that came out last October that said women that start on bioidentical hormones in their 40s and 50s have a 40% less likely chance of developing uh, dementia or Alzheimer's. 40%. Oh. Wow. Because estrogen is protective. Estrogen protects the brain, protects the body. Estrogen is not the enemy. Estrogen is our friend, we women. So 
find somebody, get on bioidentical hormones, you're going to be a new woman. You're, you're, you call back oh, in within a month. I will. Once you get on, you're going to go, oh my God, I feel so much I better. I will. Okay. All righty. <laughs> Thank you so much. Easy to fix. You bet. Take care. Bye, Katie. You too. Bye. Bye, Rocco. He wanted us to talk to him. That was pretty cute. Rocco the dog. Okay, we got another go question. Back. We got another question from YouTube. Here we go. Laura. Hi, Laura from Pennsylvania. Can you give me a message, please, from Spirit? Yeah, who do you want to talk to? Got to let me know who you want to talk to. See if she can, can uh, put it in the chat real fast. And uh, yeah. right, thank you. Okay, so who do you want to talk to, Laura? And then we'll we'll go from there. If I don't if I don't see a, a note from you here in a minute, I'll just your guardian angels coming in want to talk to you. Bar, guardian angels calling itself Bartholomew, saying ask it for help. It's it's waiting in the wings. He's saying no pun intended. Now, you know, spirits don't have a gender, but we equate a gender with a name. So Bartholomew's saying ask it for help because it's there waiting in the wings and is more than happy to help. All spirits are, all of our deceased loved ones, our angels, our spirit guides, our saints, whomever, God, Jesus, Virgin Mary, Buddha, whoever, they're all there and they just want us to ask them for help. We're, they're never gonna interfere with our life, but when we ask them for help, they are so happy to assist us in anything that we need. So keep that in mind. I don't know if that's who you want to heard from, but that's who I who showed up. All righty, let's go to another caller. Hi, Mary Beth. Hi. Where are you, my girl? I'm in Missouri, in Columbia, Missouri. Oh, terrific. Well, good. Well, welcome. Got a question for me? I do. Well, I, I'm going back and forth between two things, but really I am just so longing for my daughter who passed oh. away. Oh. So I would love, I would love it if you could connect with her. Yeah. What's her name, Mary Beth? Christina. Christina. And how long has she been in spirit? Uh, it's been two years. Well, it was November 3, 2021. So Okay. What would that be about 29 months now? Yeah. Or so. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Are you, do you talk to her? You probably do all the time. Do you hear from her? Oh, I don't, I don't hear from her. I talk to her all the time yeah. and I used to feel her presence. I used to sense her or see little signs, but I haven't in a long time. Okay. Ask her to send you a sign, ask her and to visit, mm -hmm. visit you in your dreams before you go to bed at mm -hmm. night. As our energy frequency resets to the factory presetting is what I call it. Mm -hmm. The factory presetting is frequency of spirit. And that's the channel that spirits communicate on. So it's easier for them to communicate with us sometimes in our dreams because we're mm -hmm. on the same station as they are. Whereas during the day we're running around and we're busy and we're thinking of lots of things. And even when we're in grief, that's a low frequency. It's a low vibration. So it's like they're on the classic music station and we're on the country music station listening to Mama the Truck and the Dog. You know, mm. so you're in sad songs on the country station. So we want to get on their channel. That's number one. Number two, as soon as you mentioned her, she showed me a picture of a ballerina. And it reminded me of, did you have a music box growing up where you'd raise the lid and it would sing a song and the ballerina would twirl in front well, of a I mirror? I know what you're talking about, but I don't think we had one. Yeah, okay. I don't know why she'd show that. Mm -hmm. Did you take dance lessons? Was she? Did she like the ballet? Did she like dancing? Did she? Did you call her your princess, your, princess, your ballerina? something like that? Well, Anything that comes to mind? Would, well, she did like to dance and she would choreograph dances for her roommates in college. They would have lots of fun together, but she, she really didn't go the ballerina route. Okay. All right. You know, yeah. So mm -hmm. when spirit sends us a sign, 
We need to be open to what it means. So I picture that as a music box with a ballerina. That's what came into my head. Hmm. Broad it, let's broaden it out. Dancer, what's a ballerina? She's a dancer, right? She's twirling. My guess is that Christina used to like to twirl and maybe did that as a little girl. That's number one. Number two, she's saying that's your symbol from her. Look for ballerinas. So look for dancers, ballerinas, flamenco. She said flamenco. Uh, she, she's saying any kind of dancer, that's her sign, especially a ballerina. She's stuck on the ballerina for some reason. And when they give us a sign or a symbol like that, what happens is we want to be open to how we're going to see it. You may see something on TV. You may see something in a magazine. You may see somebody wearing a brooch that's a ballerina. You may see a music box. You may see whatever. You may see a billboard. You may see a dance studio with a ballerina on the sign. That She's saying, Mom, that's our sign. That's our special sign is a ballerina in a tutu, no less, with toe shoes on and the straps wrapped up you know, the calf, mm -hmm. like they do. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and she's saying, if you find a music box like that with a ballerina twirling and it's in front of a mirror to buy it and consider that that's a gift from her. Oh, that's sweet. How sweet is that? She's saying, look on eBay. <laughs> yeah. I love when they even tell us where to shop. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah, look at eBay. You know, there may you may be able okay. to find one there. Mm -hmm. So I hope that helps. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm. Okay, Christina the ballerina. How cute is that? It even rhymes. If you got a question, ask julieryanshow.com. Come join us. And then we'll we'll get you answered. Okay, here's one from another one from YouTube. I would love to name know the name of my guardian angel from Sabrina. Hi, Sabrina. What's the name of her guardian angel? I got Christopher. First thing that came into my head, Christopher. Christopher, what do you want to tell Sabrina? It's talking about nuts. Like maybe you like nuts. Do you like to eat nuts? He's saying, be careful with the nuts, stick with uh, actual nuts. <laughs> He's talking about that you like cashews and cashews are a bean. It's not something I would expect to hear from my guardian angel, but he's saying that if you stick with the actual nuts, like walnuts and Brazil nuts and stuff like that, that you're going to feel better. So I hope that helps. Christopher, the guardian angel. And he's saying you can call him Chris if you want. The funny thing about guardian angels or any kind of angels is when I go to talk to angels, when I used to do this, when I first started, they'd come in with these names that were like 15 letters and they'd be uh, some dead language or some language from a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> and the letters would all be consonants. And I'd say, okay, how am I supposed to pronounce that? And so I started saying, can you give me an American English name that's easy to pronounce that I can, you know, easily recognize? And so that's why they come in with these American sounding names now, because I asked them to, and they're always going to answer us when we ask them to do something. So we can do that. All right. We got another caller, Chris. Oh, we got another question from YouTube. All righty. Christy. Hi, Julie. My mother passed and can't accept it. I talk to her and pray for her. Please help me ask her why she won't pass in peace to the light. So, okay. So your mom's already passed. She is in the light just because she's not communicating with you, that's probably because of your grief. And what I was mentioning earlier, it's a low vibration grief is. And when we're in a low vibration, it's like being on the country music station and spirits are communicating on the classical music station. So we need to get our vibration raised. And that's what I teach in my classes. Again, askjulieryan.com forward slash AAT. 
and you can learn to communicate with spirit. And it's super easy, but in the meantime, you just wanna ask them to come visit you in your dreams because our vibration, as I mentioned earlier, resets to the level of spirit, the frequency of spirit, and then it's easier for them to communicate. The difference between dreams and visions is visions and um, visits, it's going to be like it's in high def. The colors are going to be more vibrant. The senses are going to be more tuned up. You may wake up in the hair on the back of your neck or in your arms is standing up straight. And you may be feeling like you're buzzing. That's because the vibration of spirit is so high because they don't have the density of a body to slow it down. I always use the analogy of think of trying to run an electrical current through a bowl of pudding. <laughs> the density of the pudding has got to slow it down. And so that's how it works with spirit. When they are not attached to a body, they vibrate really fast. And in order for them to communicate with us, we need to be on that same vibrational level. And that's what I do. And that's what I teach people all over the world how to do. So I hope that helps. Okay, who we got next? Hi, Mark. Hi. How are you, sir? Hello. I'm good. I'm good. Great. Where are you? San Diego, California. Oh, terrific. Oh, great. <laughs> got a got a question for me? Yes. Um, I just wanted to know if you can do a body scan on me. Sure. Got a symptom you want me to check? Um, I have I have some lower back pains that's been going on for a very long time yeah um and i have a, a, a swollen abdomen mm. um also i've just been diagnosed with hypothyroidism okay and i i have a, a history of i think five or six years of a congestive heart failure okay so just because of time on the show, I mean, schedule an appointment with me. Just go to AskJulieRyan.com. We'll have a whole hour. We'll just go through each one of these at a t you know, we'll in depth. We'll have a whole hour to concentrate on this. But what's the one thing you want me to check? The lower back pain? Because you said that first. Uh, what's, what's the most pressing yes. issue for you? The, the lower back pain is causing a little bit of weakness. Okay. And uh, I get tired. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pain wears you out, doesn't it? Okay. So here we yeah. go. Here comes my laser beam from Sweet Home, Alabama, and heading out to you in San Diego. Poor baby. I'm so sorry you live in such an awful place. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of things going on over here. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm being facetious, especially since you guys have had so much rain. Everything, all the bloom is going to be amazing this year. With all the all yeah. the uh, hillsides will be green and all that the hot pink ice plant when you drive down the five is so gorgeous coming into oh, yeah. San Diego. Yeah. yeah. So got that going. Okay, got you. All right. It looks like most of your problems on the left side. Is the left side more pronounced with pain than the right in your low back? Well, it, it, yes, it goes back and forth. It switches yeah. off and uh, back and forth. Yeah, yeah, you got a bulging disc from what I'm seeing, Mark, on the left side of your back. So what I'm watching happen with the healing is I'm watching the vertebrae get propped up. And you know what those little tile spacers look like that a tile mason will use when they're setting tile before they put the grout in? Those little spacers? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what yeah. I see, something similar. I see that used to prop up those vertebrae. Watch the disc okay. get put back in. And then there's this little netting that gets put from the upper to the lower vertebrae. And it looks, it reminds me of the fine netting that you'd see in a net that you're getting a goldfish out of a bowl. You know okay. how fine that is? And that yeah. is stretched from the upper to the lower vertebrae to hold that disc in place. That disc is degenerating. So I'm watching a little stem cell energy, like a glob of it put on the disc to poof it up to make it okay make it puffier if you will 
And the okay. reason it's the reason it's bulging is because it's losing density, so it's slipping out. It's not staying in place because it's degenerating. Has any doctor okay. told you that? I haven't been to a, a specialist yet. Okay. All right. So by the time you go, hopefully this will be, you know, it will your body will have healed it already. So is I'm there watching any that. that helping me with this. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Healing? Spirits oh. help. Spirits working through me and with me, and everybody around the world that's watching or listening to this is helping. We're all in, all okay. involved. Yeah, yeah. Thank you got you. the big, you got the big guns working on you tonight. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. So I believe it's the Holy Spirit that works through me and with me to help help facilitate healing. So I'm watching Thank that. You. There's a vortex behind your back that's spinning. Picture of funnel cloud and that's regenerating that disc material what i saw once that healing went into place mark was i saw your spine line up okay. so i think what's happening is your spine is is kind of crooked because of and that disc is going against the the nerve and causing pain okay is what I'm seeing. Okay. So schedule an appointment with me, askjulieryan.com, and we'll have a whole hour and we'll do a deep dive on all okay, this stuff that you mentioned. Okay. Hope you feel okay. better. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. You're welcome. Okay. Let's do the free drawing here, the free giveaway for my, my session here. Here's something that soar air for you s-o-r-e hyphen a-i-r for you said and she wrote julie ryan's podcast has been a game changer for me her ability to bridge the gap between science and spirituality is truly remarkable now remember i learned how to do all this so i appreciate the compliment but everybody can do this stuff each episode leaves me feeling uplifted and empowered to make positive changes in my life thank you julie <clears throat> for sharing your gifts with the world. The world is a better place energetically for your presence and contribution. So soar hyphen air for you. You have won a free session with me. We'll have an hour together. It's worth $250. And uh, we could talk about anything and everything you want because you know, I am a buffet of psychicness. So we can talk to a deceased loved one. We can do energetic healing stuff on you, on a family member, on a pet. We can do past life stuff. We can tell how close to death somebody is. We can talk to your angels and spirit guides. And, you know, it's just, it's a blast. And normally when I've got somebody for a whole hour, we talk about a multitude of things. So just go to AskJulieRyan.com, click on the Ask Julia question button, say, hey, I won the free session on the show last night, and uh, my team will help you figure out a date and time when we can chat. So I'm looking forward to that. Thanks for your kind comments. Again, if you want to do this, if you want to get into the drawing, just go to AskJulieRyan.com, click on the Ask Julie button and uh, leave a review. You can leave a review anywhere you watch the show on YouTube. You can leave it anywhere you listen to the show and uh, any of the podcast networks too. So you can leave it on Instagram, you can leave it on Facebook, everything's at Ask Julie Ryan. So we've got that. Okay, I think we have time for one more caller. Hi, Angela. Hi, Julie. I'm Speaking so of talking- to talk to you. Speaking of talking to angels, we get to talk to a live one. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where are Hi. you? I'm in Titusville, Florida. Okay. Terrific. Not too far from me in yeah. Alabama. Not too far, honey. Not too far. That's it. You got a question for me? I do. Um, so my mother is suffering from vascular dementia, and she took a really sharp turn um, she's on hospice. Um, she, we don't know if we have a few days or hours or what with her. She's no longer communicating. Her eyes are always closed. She's not really drinking or eating. And I just want to know if you could talk to her yeah. and see if she has a, a message for me. Sure. And, sure. and if, or maybe, or maybe you can tell her that it's okay to go 
because yeah. I just want her to be at peace. Yeah. Yeah. What's her first name, Angela? Her name's Diane. Diane. Okay. Is she yeah. there with you? Is she there with you in Florida? Yes. She's here in Florida with me. Okay. And hospice is involved at this point? Yes. Great. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to you and then I'm going to connect from you to your mom, Diane. Okay? okay. And then we'll see what phase of transition she's in. Do you know what the phases are? The 12 phases of transition. Have you heard me talk about that? Yes. I downloaded it and I actually bought your book. Oh, wonderful. Anybody that doesn't know, anybody that doesn't know what we're talking about, Go to my website, AskJulieRyan.com. Go to the 12 Faces tab. There's a chart there, <clears throat> excuse me, that that is an illustration of all the 12 phases of transition of how we're surrounded by angels and the spirits of deceased loved ones and pets as we're going through the dying process. Angela, the best thing with that chart is download it on your phone, and then you just ask in your head, to say what phase of transitions my mom in and you'll hear an answer you'll hear seven five whatever it's that first thing that comes into your head and then you can refer to the chart and it'll give you a lot of information so here we go i'm heading heading south my laser beams heading south got you okay your mama's in phase nine of the 12 phases of transition so okay. phase nine is you know she's most of the way there and what happens in phase nine is a vortex starts to form above her head. And that's going to help separate her spirit from her body. She's surrounded by angels. She's surrounded by the spirits of deceased loved ones and pets. There are three questions I always ask somebody at the end of life. Are you ready to go? She's saying yes. Are you in pain? She's saying not really. What do you need? <laughs> He said, I need the green light. So do you need the green light from heaven, Diane? <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting for a green light is what she's saying. So <laughs> I think you're okay. in good shape. Yeah, you're in good shape. Diane, can you see all the angels and the spirits around you? She said, yeah, they're glorious. So I saw a collie dog, Angela. I don't know if she had a collie at some point. She Sage. Sage. Okay. We did. I saw. Okay. And did, did she grow up on a farm? She, there's a horse there. Is there a horse that she rode as a kid or maybe as an adult or somebody had a horse? I own horses. Okay. All right. So there's a horse in the room, the collies in the room. There are other animals in the room too. She can see them. You guys have all told her it's okay to go, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so she's, she's ready. She's just, she's just waiting for that traffic light to enter heaven to, um, <laughs> to help her. Yeah. I hope that gives you some comfort. Yeah. Look for the miracles along the way. They will be plentiful. This is one of them. Horse is there. Sage, the collie is there. You know, she's surrounded and what a glorious component to add to such a heart-wrenching situation. One yes. other thing, Angela, is for your other family members, you are welcome to get Angelic Attendance, my book for them in a paperback or share yours. But you and anybody listening, if you want a free digital and audiobook download of Angelic Attendance, my book, just go to julieryangift.com and we will send you the digital and the audiobook download as a gift for free. So julieryangift.com because this information really helps families as they're going through what you're going through because it's heart wrenching. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Okay. Well, God Thank bless you. Thank you so much. You are most welcome. Sending you a big bless hug. You, too. you bet. <laughs> Bye-bye. Thank you. All right, everybody, that's it for this week. Remember to like and share and leave a comment and subscribe. And we will see you next week. Sending you lots of love from Sweet Home, Alabama. Mwah. Bye, everybody. Bye.
How do I end this, Aaliyah? Come help me. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to follow Julie on Instagram and YouTube at Ask Julie Ryan. And like her on Facebook at Ask Julie Ryan. To schedule an appointment or submit a question, please visit AskJulieRyan.com. This show is for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be medical, psychological, financial, or legal advice. Please contact a licensed professional. The Ask Julie Ryan Show, Julie Ryan and all parties involved in producing, recording, and distributing it assume no responsibility for listeners' actions based on any information heard on this or any Ask Julie Ryan shows or podcasts.